Hey Jana, my name's Jimmy Schaefer. It's nice to finally, I guess, meet you, or I guess you can see my face and actually match my voice and stuff with uh, the emails we've been exchanging. But sorry, I didn't make this video like weeks ago, like I said I would. Um, I've just been really, really busy. Um, but anyways, it's really easy to get the focus that you need. The problem that I have is the same problem that you had, is when you're videotaping yourself, like even right now, the camera's there. I honestly don't know if I'm in focus. The only way to find out if I'm in focus is if I were to grab like a stationary object and basically put it at the same depth of field I would be standing at. And it's not always the easiest thing to do. And then when you blow it up on a big screen, you can definitely tell like, oh my gosh, like I'm out of focus. So that's where tethering actually comes in. And uh, before I get into like the iPad and everything like that, you definitely want to know how to do it on your computer first because you're still going to need to do the computer to go through like your iPad. Um, so anyways, you just need the three things that I said you needed. You need the Canon EOS utility disc, which should have just came with your T4i that you just got, or it should have came with all your other cameras that you previously bought. Um, and you install that on your Mac or your PC and... The utility disc is called the Canon EOS Utility Disc, um, and that's basically how you tether. The second thing is this USB cord right here. This is a USB 2.0 to a USB mini, and you can find these all over, but you should have received one with your T3i or your T4i. I think they still package them together. Um, and basically, you know, this DV mini go or this USB mini goes into the back of your camera this would plug into the computer. Well, this really isn't that big amount of cord. You know, this is only like two feet. Um, so this is where the third item comes in. You need to get this USB extender. And what it basically is, is it's a USB cord. And this one's only like 10 feet long. You can buy them on Amazon for really cheap. You can get like 30 foot ones if you really want to. Um, and basically what it is, it's a USB 2.0 to a USB 3.0 female end. So these ends actually uh, go together right here. So you have a male end here and a female end here. And basically what you just do is you, you take that black cord, you plug it in here, and then you plug you know this into your computer and the, you know, the mini into the back of your camera. So it's really simple. Um, it's just an extension. So now you can be several feet away from your camera and everything. Um, this camera currently, it's not tethered. Um, we're going to hop on the computer now. I'll actually show you how it works. Um, I'm going to plug all this stuff in to the 7D. The 7D, all the cameras are the same. They all tether the exact same way. There's not going to be any big differences. Um, so what I'll do is I'll plug this stuff into the camera. And then what I'm going to do is I got all these gate or these Powerade bottles. And I prefer Powerade over Gatorade, just to let you know. <laughs> um, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to plug it in. We're going to focus on the bottles without actually touching the camera at all. So I'm going to set them at different depths, and then we're going to focus on the actual computer, and then we'll know that the subject's actually in focus. So now we're going to turn over the computer here. Okay, now that we're actually on the computer, we're going to open up the Canon EOS utility disk. Um, now, it's already installed on my computer. I dragged it here at the bottom. Um, because I use it all the time. I use all these applications. So we'll go ahead and we'll we'll launch it up. And the first thing that we're going to notice is that most of the stuff on the screen is actually grayed out. The reason is, is because the camera's not actually hooked up. So what I'm going to do really quickly is I'm going to go ahead and start plugging in the stuff. Okay. There we go. So now the camera is tethered. The only thing you have to do is now put your camera in movie mode, obviously. Set it to manual movie mode because you want to control everything on the actual computer because you don't want to be able to, you know, touch the camera. So we'll take this lens cap off and then go ahead and turn your camera on. You'll notice that these things are now able to click on. They're not grayed out. So the one that we want to click on is camera settings and remote shooting. All right. And now this is basically our menu bar where we have full functionality of our, our camera. We can set the shutter speed, the f-stop, the ISO. We can even change the file size, what it shoots. We can get into you know picture settings, all that. But what we want to do right now is go to the live view shoot. 
you click on this and you'll notice now this is showing what my camera is seeing right now and everything's out of focus um, but you can see with the two videos put together right now um, that I'm seeing everything you know on the screen what my camera sees looking around um, so we'll set this down and what I'm gonna do is kind of stagger these bottles try and get them kind of it's gonna be a little difficult turn a light on to them all right so we're not actually recording either right now um, you'll notice that the record buttons down here this will be flashing when we record and you can start and stop the recording at any time all from your computer so right now we're not in focus I basically just have the camera set up I'm moving it with my hand right now and uh, this white box you can click and drag around and this is your focus uh, level right here once you drag this around and you want to get focus on this box you basically go over to the right here and you hit on and now what the camera should do is the camera should try and capture focus on that bottle there it goes now this bottle this bottle right here is totally in focus um, it's, I'm just just picture the bottles as people um, you know or you at different distances and now what I can do is I can hit the record button right here and it will basically record from my card um, it can either record to the card or the computer um, and then so we'll just try this right now so it's recording this scene right now now the only thing we can't do is we can't move this box around now that it's recording because we lose the functionality of autofocus because it's just not built into the actual system so if we want to move to the person in the back what we do now is we stop the, we actually stop it so there it is now the footage has been stopped we move our box our focal box right here and we go ahead and we hit focus on this Now that Gatorade bottle in the back, or Powerade bottle in the back, is now in focus, and we can go ahead and hit the record button again and record that next shot. Um, it's really nice that you have the ability to do this because this bottle in the back, it is just a little bit dark. So what I can do is before I even hit the record button, I know it's dark, I can go ahead and I can adjust my ISO and turn it up a little bit make the image a little bit brighter um, now I probably would never use 2500 ISO but just for this example and I'll just drop the shutter down too since these images aren't moving so already that's a little bit better image you can see you know this bottle just a little bit brighter these two bottles a lot brighter so that's basically how tethering works is that you don't have to have a stationary object now like so if I was the second bottle right here on the screen I wouldn't have to you know try to put something there and then put my face there and match it up all I have to do is put this box up there and hit you know the live view the nice thing is if you have a laptop like you have what you can do is you can get a long cord a long uh, USB extension cord put the laptop on your lap you could stand up have the camera facing towards you then you can focus on yourself, set the laptop down, and then you're no, you know like 100% that you're actually in focus. The other cool thing with this is if you're doing product reviews where you're doing something close up, and I'll just move it here, and I'll just move uh, my phone right here. So picture that you're doing a actual, uh, this is really close to my lens. I don't know if it's going to get focus. Oh man, um, that's definitely not in focus. <laughs> Try and refocus on here. Oh, come on, capture it. Okay, so this should be in focus. Now, if you're doing a product review, the nice thing is I don't actually have to look at the phone. This is what I'm trying to kind of get by is you can use your actual PC screen as a field monitor. Um, so you know right away, like this image is bad because people can't see the screen because it's all washed out. So what I can do is I can start bringing these 
uh, you know, colors down right here. Let in uh, or bring down the ISO. I can go ahead and, uh, you know, turn up my shutter. I can go ahead and maybe I want to make things more in focus. I can go ahead and open up the F stop just a little bit. And, you know, that's a pretty good shot for shooting an actual screen. And I don't even have to look at the phone at all. I know what I'm clicking on just by using my my computer as a field monitor. Okay, now there is a way to put tethering on your actual iPad like I have right here. Um, it's kind of difficult. You definitely want to do the tethering on your computer because you're going through the computer. So right now we have the computer open. Um, we're not recording or anything. Our shutter is just open. What we are basically going to do is there's no such thing as an application right now that like connects your iPad to your DSLR without buying like a thousand dollar product that goes on top of your DSLR and then shoots the signal. Plus then you have to buy the application. There's like two guys I think in development who are making that right now. Um, but it's way too expensive and you can definitely do it for free because we're already tethering to our computer. So what you actually do is on your iPad you can download an application and I don't know the name of it right now but I'll message it to you right after I get this you know this video done um, and what it does is it mimics your desktop onto your actual iPad so it copies what your desktop sees onto your iPad and you can basically touch around your desktop and control your computer well when you do that all you actually have to do is open up this uh, window right here, your live view remote shoot, expand it all the way you know, to your actual desktop. That will then appear on your iPad and what you can do is you can move around and tap on the screen and gain focus that way. It's cool because it's wireless but you still have to have the camera actually hooked up to your laptop. So how it would actually work out is it would be camera to laptop, laptop wirelessly transform trans oh I can't say this word transferring <laughs> all of the data on your computer to your iPad screen and then your basically your touch is your mouse um, on the computer so then you've now been wireless so I could be let's just say this camera was tethered I could sit here on my iPad see myself out of the camera or actually see the computer screen what the computer screen sees and then tap focus on myself hit the focus, the auto focus button, let it capture myself, and then I'll be in focus. So hopefully that helps you out. Sorry that I didn't get this video done earlier. If you have any questions, uh, you know, message me up. I'll, I'll definitely be glad to help you out. Um, I'll make another video of the application, what the name is called, and how to mimic your desktop in just a little bit here. And then I'll show you a quick example of how you can actually control everything. It's not 100% like a normal application where it's gonna always function normally. There's gonna be times where the screen might get a little bit like, I don't wanna say out of focus, but kinda out of positioning and stuff because you're just mimicking a, a pretty big laptop to like a five inch screen or like a 10 inch screen and stuff. So shouldn't be a problem. But anyways, it's nice meeting you. Um, hopefully this video helps you out. I'll make another video. I, I'll try to get it done today. If not, I will get it done tomorrow. Talk to you later.